In this video, we're going to be looking at deploying code from a hosted repository like GitHub or Bitbucket and pushing that to a server like an Amazon EC2 instance or a digital ocean droplet. Now I'm going to be using GitHub in this case and I'm going to be using digital ocean to create a droplet and we're going to be using deploy.io to actually deploy this and this makes it really easy to actually deploy your application and keeps it all in one place and keeps it really nice. I've used a couple of different websites that work like deploy but I found that deploy has the most options and it's also really easy to set up as well. So as you can see, I have a GitHub repo here. Um, it's called Hello World, and I basically just have one file in here, one commit, and this just says Hello World. Uh, in, in real life, your application will obviously be a lot larger, um, but in this case, I'm just going to use this as an example. And you can see the result of this here. So by the end of the video, we'll have deployed this, all of the code in this repository, to a DigitalOcean server. So regardless of what server you're using, I'm going to go ahead and set this up now. So I'm going to create a new droplet in DigitalOcean. If you've not already signed up with DigitalOcean, go ahead and feel free if you want to. So I'm going to not really choose uh, too many different options here. I'm just going to hit create droplet. And that's going to create my droplet for me. And I'll get a username and a password just emailed to me. You can add an SSH key here. Uh, it really depends on your, uh, you know, how you want to work with this. Okay, so once your droplet's created, we're going to open up a terminal and SSH over to our server. If you're using something like Windows, you can use PuTTY to do this. So once we're connected, the first thing we want to do is install Apache just so we can test that this works via an HTTP server. You can obviously set up your droplet however you want to with the services you need, etc, etc. So I'm going to first of all update APT. And now that that's done, I'm going to install Apache. So what we're now interested in is where our public files are located. Um, in this case, it happens to be in var www.html. Uh, this will differ depending on the server that you're using. And you can see that we've got index.html in here by default. So if we actually go over to a browser window of our IP address, we'll sh we should see the default Ubuntu Apache page. And here's the default page that we would see. So as long as you've got this working and you know the directory where your public files are stored, we can use deploy.io to copy the files from our GitHub repository over to our public directory. So we'll leave this open because we'll need this later on. Now what we're going to do is inside of deploy.io, we're going to connect a repository. So you're going to need to provide your GitHub, Bitbucket or self-hosted details here. In this case, I'm going to choose the Hello World repository. So I'm going to give it a title here and a color label if you want, and I'm going to hit connect. So once that's done, you'll see that your repository has been added to the list here. Bear in mind that before you actually do any of this, you will need to connect your GitHub or other account. So I'm going to hit Hello World here, and we have the option to create an environment and server. So what we need to do is create an environment here and I'm just going to call this Hello World Production and you can give it a color label if you want. And we also need to choose the branch as well. So this could be a development branch, a, a specific branch, or in this case, it's just going to be the master branch. And there's not really much else you need to do here, but you can uh, do things like HipChat or Campfire deployment notifications. So I'm going to hit Add Environment. And once that's done, we can choose a server. So you can see the options here, and depending on when you're watching this video, there may be additional uh, options when you come to use this. But in this case, I'm going to hit Digital Ocean and click Next Step. So I'm going to call this Hello World Server. The repository path we can just leave as a forward slash. Uh, for the droplet, though, what we need to do here is we need to actually uh, change this to the Hello World droplet. So now what we can do is we can provide the remote path. Remember, this remote path is var www.html. So we can enter that in here. So now we can go and click check connection. But this is going to fail. So you'll see what we need to do here to actually make this work. 
And this is because we don't have the SSH key for deploy.io added to our authorized keys on our server. Now there's cool instructions here that will actually tell you how to do this. So if you hit learn about public key authentication, you do get a guide here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this and we're gonna take this key we're going to copy this and we're going to paste this into our authorized keys on our server. So we're going to use Vim to hit our home directory in SSH and it's authorized keys. So we'll hit insert mode, we'll paste this in, we'll come out and we'll save that and quit. So now when we go and hit check connection, There we go, it works. So there's a couple of optional things you can do here like post deployment commands and webhooks, but I'm gonna skip this for now. So we're now ready to deploy. So on our server here, what's now gonna happen is when we deploy from our GitHub repo, this is then gonna be copied over to our public HTTP directory. So let's click deploy. We have the option to choose a revision and we can enter some deployment notes here. I'm not going to do this. So I'm going to hit re review. And then I'm going to hit start deployment. So that's now deploying. If we just refresh the page, there's not a lot of files here. So that should be done now. And when we go over to our server, you can see that that's been deployed.